There you go. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. That Dumping the oil Does because of the high out? temperature. Correctly without spilling anything. Rain gear. I mean, the big, a most important oil is being replaced right now. While we're waiting, got ourselves some uh, some kids action over here for uh, for the kid in spirit, in soul and spirit. Little crayons here to work with. So I'm literally so tired from almost 600 miles today. I'm even too tired to do the math over here, so. Pretty much roads were wet because of heavy, heavy mist. And that mist as you're riding lifts up and gets your whole lower body wet. Now my socks are completely wet. So I'll simply do what my uh, grandfather used to do when his socks were wet. My father simply changed to dry socks. Listen, the ST's got great wind protection, but the lower part, the, lo <laughs> oh my the God. lower part, uh, rain protection is not as good as the touring models. No, no. Mini sausage, shorty sausage. Topeka, Kansas. It's made it into Missouri in Kansas City. Tired to do the math over here, so I'm just gonna fill out the star over here. It was a long day, 600 miles. Blue through. Where did we start? We started at what state? Oh my God! At the tip of it was Lyman, Colorado. Lyman, Colorado. We blew through Kansas and ended up just entered Kansas City. Now miles were crushed. Amazing. Amazingly, because we started early, there was no traffic. The road was pretty much clear. The road is kind of smooth. There was gusty wind. That was a problem. Started early morning with a lot of fog. And rain hit us a little bit. Rain gear. Okay. I'm But the, the miles just blew by, as you've seen already. We just keep chugging eastbound, hoping for better and better weather. Yeah, now, dense fog. Yeah, dense fog. Fro dense fog. Now we're gonna enjoy this steak. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go pick up some uh, synthetic oil and do our oil change. Gonna dump the oil. Not gonna deal around with the filter right now. We'll do the rest of the things once we get home. For now, just on the road, at four and a half, five thousand miles, we want to change the oil. Got our stuff. Now we need an oil pan or some kind of aluminum pan to drop the oil over there and then fill up the jug. All the oil, we're going to go to the hotel. We need to get a pan. We're going to go, I guess, to... We'll go to Target. We'll buy it at the, yeah. at the household department. The kitchen, you know, a little big... A big uh, one of those, what do you call it, a tray, a aluminum tray? Aluminum cooking tray. Yeah, right? disposable, and we'll do it at the hotel. Pasta pan. We're going to use pasta pan to hold the old oil. How about that? <laughs> that should do, right? Let's uh, get some uh, towels, like uh, rags, shop rags. Don't say it can't be done. Of course it can be done. Ah, uh, uh, it's all about improvising shit. There you go. I'm going to go get food at Texas Roadhouse, and I'm going to have the bikes drain while we're eating then we'll fill it up good idea go danny there you go there you go let's do my bike let's do my bike there you go there you go there you go Danny. Danny is the man. If you guys are looking for roadside assistance. <laughs> roadside assistant. Don't call Danny. Don't call me. <laughs> oh, 
Yes, baby. Nice. Hopefully this is a five uh, gal, like a five quarts. I think it is. Should we lay the drain and go eat and come back and fill up the oil after? Or wait over here? I say we let it drain. Let it drain. Let it drain, we'll go get our Texas Roadhouse dinner. Get back over here and fill up the oil. Kill two birds with one stone. Here. Oh, there you go. Put this in your saddle bag. This yeah. is yours. Okay, thank you. Now, obviously, guys, the optimal would be to stop at the Harley dealership if we had time for that and if they had a opening for us. But we're on the fly. We're, we're crushing miles so like crazy. Know, let me know if any more drains out if I level out my bike. Okay. So the most, the, the most crucial is the engine oil. Dumping the oil so because of the high out? temperature, it's losing its viscosity. So we put fresh oil in. Filter will do once we get home. Should be a few, a few thousand miles from here. Is and then we'll do the transmission as well Is and the draining? primary. No, not draining anymore. No? Okay. No. So yeah, they can leave comments below that we should have done three hole, uh, but that would be actually the right thing to do if we had the optimal circumstances. But you know, improvise when you have no other choice. At least we're doing the big, the, I mean, the, the big, oil. most important oil is being replaced right now. The engine oil is the one that breaks down, so the other one just really lubricate gears and chains and stuff, so. There you it's go. It's the engine oil that breaks down. So. You heard it from the pro over here. Okay, let's go eat. Let's go put our order in. Here on the road two weeks ago, and we loved it. Gonna have another steak or a or burger. It was really, their meat was really good. Now this is what awaits us. Obviously, people are gonna say, "Oh, you didn't change your filter," but I just explained. Oh, we did. We didn't, and the filter will hold another 2,000 miles. I know, preferably, it would be best to change the filter with it. But on the road, that's what we had. We'll deal with it. We got fresh oil. That's what matters. Let me tell you, this is the second time we eat at Texas. Uh, Texas, whatever, forgot what it's Roadhouse. called. Roadhouse. And from all places, these the steaks are so tender. It's really good. You put the filet? Filet mignon. Dude, it's so tender. Oh. I don't know how they do it. And we had at other places, at other ranchers and local farms. Shh. This is so good. So tender. Let me show you how easily it cuts through. Just like that. Perfect. Demolished that steak. And the uh, mashed potato a little bit. Really good. Ready to put the oil in now. I didn't have time to finish this up because you gotta go put the new oil in, so. I'll leave it for the next customer right there. Let's go. Yes, sir, there. Plugging it. You done? Okay. Ugh. See, we're disposing the the burnt, burnt, the burnt oil correctly without spilling anything. And we'll put it by the gas station. We'll give it to the gas station because they disposed the oil. Mission complete. 